Hello, my name is Abby Odakoya and I'm an Associate Customer Success Manager here at Mixpanel. Right, so today I'm going through um, breakdowns these filters with you. To do that, um, what I'm going to use is a media data dummy set. Okay, fantastic. Let's load up our first event here and what we can see here is the total number of times our users, our viewers have watched a video over the last 30 days. Now let's apply our first filters. Filters are really great at excluding the unwanted data. They really help you narrow in on the metrics you want to view. So I'm going to apply um, what we call a first time filter. This is showing me a unique count of those users that have done this action for the first time. Fantastic. Just going to pop that off. And now we're going to talk about breakdowns. So breakdowns allow you to compare your data. And actually a really cool breakdown to have a look at is um, breakdown by date. So here I can see um, what day of the week is most popular in terms of my viewers watching videos. So here you can see Tuesday is the most popular day or the day that most of my viewers um, watch a video. Fantastic. Now I don't only want to show you um, filters and breakdowns in one report. I actually want to show you filters and breakdowns in funnels and retention too. So let's have a look at um, funnels first. So I'm going to have a look at sign up to watch video. So let's say you wanted to have a look at um, how your users are converting through a funnel on a particular platform. You could filter by that platform or you could filter by a particular video that you want to see that conversion and drop off in. I'm going to apply a breakdown because I want to see which campaign sources are driving the most um, views which ads are driving and um, the most engagement. And again, just as I said earlier, breakdowns really enable you to compare that data. So I've got all my campaign sources here, but actually what if I wanted to focus on Twitter and Facebook, let's say. You can view that here really easily, really clearly. And a really, um, another cool feature is, I wanna know what's happening here at the um, drop off. What I can do is I can um, click on that clearer um, shaded box there and view it as a flow. Have a look at, so I can click here and I can view that as a flow. Have a look at what did my users go on to do if they weren't completing this funnel, if they weren't converting. Fantastic. Okay, right. Now I'm going to move on to retention. So retention counts users not events. So actually, it's a nice opportunity to see if your users, if your viewers are retained. Let's go um, have a look at watch video and then we'll pop to um, subscribe to channel. So here by default, I can see across the last seven days, um, did my users come back after watching a video to subscribe to that channel? I'm just going to pop it to 30 days so that I can see um, that retention curve over a longer time span there. And if you scroll down, what you'll see are these lovely buckets to show you um, that retention of your users. And here I've got it uh, per day across the 30 days that I'm looking at. Now it's on on or after at the moment. So I'm just saying that I don't mind when my users come back. I just want to see that they come back to complete um, that subscribe to channel. Lovely. Um, now, what I want to show you is a really cool breakdown. Um, so I, you can um, break down by cohort. Let's say you and your team have been looking at a particular cohort of users that you find interesting and you want to see their retention compared to the other users. So let's break down by a cohort here. And I want to see how my weekly power um, weekly power video watchers, um, I want to see if they're retained. I want to see if they're better retained compared to my normal um, video watchers. So fantastic. And here, um, using that breakdown here, you can view and you can see um, that the weekly power watchers are better retained and they are coming back after um, watching a video, um, which hopefully is what you would expect. And not only that, you can see these lovely drop down um, boxes as a better um, 
as a better visualization of that retention. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for listening. If there's more content you want to see or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.